Welcome to my project ideas. In this video, we'll learn how to auto publish any post that you write on WordPress. So there are many instances where you are writing a lot of posts and you want to publish it over different social media platforms, right? So in this particular video, we'll learn how to publish over Twitter automatically. So every time you will publish a post, it will be automatically tweeted over Twitter. So for that, we have to first install a plugin. So I will go to so I have already logged into my website. I will go to plugins and add a new plugin. And there is a plugin called social media. Auto publish. And I will install now. So meanwhile, it's installing. So you need to go to developer Twitter. So it's developer.x.com. And you have to go to a project. And like you have to create an application here. And I will call it auto publish. Okay, so I'll call my project ideas. Fine, so all the keys that are required, I can see over here. So I will activate the plugin now. So you can see that I am doing two steps all together. So one is I am installing a plugin called social media auto publish and and I am visiting this particular portal or developer.x.com and there I am activating a lot of uh, like I'm creating the access key API keys and bearer token. So now once it is logged in, once it is created, you can just uh, visit this plugin and go to Twitter. And here you can see that you need to create a new application on Twitter that we have already done. And now you need to provide these things. So I will see API keys here. I can just copy and paste. Secret is also here. I will just copy and paste. Twitter username, I will see what it is. And bearer token is not required here. Fine. So I will go to get user tokens and I will generate the tokens. Keys over here. Then I will copy the access token and the access token secret. Yes, I have saved them. And then it is asking for the Twitter username that I can go to Twitter. Click on my name and find here. So that's it. The Twitter uh, character limit is something that is required like uh, whatever you are posting on Twitter, it should be under 300 right until you have a uh, like authorized account or you have buy have already bought something that can where you can exceed this length and once we are done with this configuration the last thing that we need to do in the, the twitter handle is that we have to go back and you will see user authentication settings so we have to set up this part also so by default it remains as read but we also need to do read and write right so the same thing we'll select here and uh, the type of application that we are using is web app because we are updating via the website and callback uri and all so this you can find here the callback uri you have to add this uh, uh, link that is the website link from where you are calling and the rest you can leave and just click on save so now you are uh, allowing your application or website to you know call the twitter api and authenticate and publish the post as tweet. So now what we'll do is we'll start creating a tweet or a post. So I'll call it Twitter test post. Same thing I'll add in description and I will add a media over here. Suppose this one. 
find i will also choose the featured image same image i can choose and i can see in the setting also i can see all the configuration that i did like uh, yes i want to post by twitter and what all will be displayed like here you can add description or the content of the blog post also but since we have a limit of in twitter about like a 300 characters are there that's why we cannot uh, publish more than that and then we can click on publish and we can go back to the log within the plugin and you will see a tweet has been created right and you can click on the tweet twitter test post this is the name of the post that we have created and the link of the post right with the image so that's how you can you know tweet i will refresh and you can see the tweet here also That's how you can simply tweet all your post over Twitter. So you do not have to manually assign the stars to someone else. You can do it automatically using Twitter APIs.